Okay, that was an awesome tutorial. Um, if you, I think that's only for the PC. I don't. I I downloaded the mobile version of this um, back in the day. I don't remember that being in the mobile version exactly. Maybe I'm wrong, but the tutorial helps you a lot for sure. And if you if you don't do the tutorial, then why are you playing this game? <laughs> but um. This video is mainly, I'm going to just try and explain some good starting opening strats you can use um, against, um, really, I, uh, or like starting strats for t attacking, defending, one of the best openings. I, I, okay, also, this match is, I think, a 30-something player match, 32, 30 player match. These ones are more super chill you get a ton of new people that join the game they don't do anything they like they 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 join the game they pick their nation and then they just sit there and they don't build anything and you're like oh how do you know they're not building you can just click on their city and see if they're building anything and they have no buildings they didn't build the the, the army camp maybe they're doing the tutorial or i don't know but they didn't build the army camp oh okay they have that probably a new player you can also you can also click the, um, right over here, this this thing that says human player, kind of near bottom middle, kind of like right above the army camp. You can click that, and then you can, they appear, once you do, they usually just appear at the top right here, kind of. You can then click info to see what level they are, and they are level one. So we can assume, for the most part, they're a new player, they don't know what they're doing, and they don't. And this person, like most of the other new people that join these 30, 32 player matches, they're gonna not do anything or just start it, see the combat. Maybe they don't like the combat or they just don't like something or they don't bother to do the tutorial. They just sit there and they do nothing and leave the game. Inactivity. AI takes over. These matches, super chill. You can, you don't, if you do decide to spend gold, I would not suggest spending gold. On these 30 player matches um, because you probably just win just because you're like the only active player maybe like one or two other maybe like probably like five others maybe or four other players usually are active and they try and take over the game or you guys just form a coalition and kill the last two or last one so um, good openings good starting openings you can just um, tutorial had me do some things but a good starting opening is okay so you can click uh, it, i don't know about the mobile app i don't remember but on the pc you can click cities this little tab right here on the right hand side and you can just drag the mouse and select all your cities and uh, well uh, oh i guess there's a yeah there's that i don't need to select that one you can just grab drag and select all that make an army camp so you can make units the other and then you just research the most basic infantry the motorized infantry along with it and then once all of those are done you can start making them um when i know yeah let's let's wait for all of them to be done 23 seconds oh my gosh i need to spend gold i can't wait oh, oh, oh i can't wait i need to spend gold okay don't don't spend gold <laughs> you don't need to spend gold okay and then the next thing what i like to do what I suggest if you're a new player to the game that you can do if you're not under pressure like let's say we're not at war with with this AI nation um, let's say we're not at war if you're not under pressure you can just um, build recruiting offices select all your cities or you can if you're on the mobile phone maybe you have to tap each city and just click that would be super that's super if that's the case that's super horrible that's super torture okay you can just select all your cities. I like building recruiting offices, and then after they're done in 30 minutes, I like to do the army arms industries because um, recruiting offices will help me um, reduce mobilization time for all military units, so all my infantry will come out a bit faster, just a tiny bit faster, and then it boosts manpower. And what manpower is at the top, it's probably same for the app game i'm guessing is that you need this to in order to make units so i like i like if i know i'm going to be in a match 
a new match for like 30 something minutes. I can just, or I can just check on it later, have like a timer or something. Make recruiting offices for each of my cities. Check back in 30 minutes. Well, I wonder if we actually, okay, just for the sake, no, I can't actually, I don't have enough. The, uh, hmm, I'm kind of, just because it's a tutorial, I'm kind of just tempted to do it. <laughs> don't, okay, don't, no, no, no. But come back, check after 30 minutes, and then you just build all, fill all your things with arms industries. All your, Because each of the your cities has a little resource thing that you can screw, you can, you can see what it's producing. This is producing components, components up here, producing supplies, because um, one of the best, oh, also, <laughs> side tangent, kind of. If you have a flying unit, especially in the beginning of the game, you don't know what to do with it. Don't let it sit there in your base. Set it on patrol so it'll actually fight back and do something. If you just have it laying in your base around, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to help you. It's, good to, it's just going to die. If you sit on patrol, if the enemy player attacked you, if they had, if this AI nation had a flying jet and if it attacked you, um, it, w it would fight back because it's now patrolling. If it weren't patrolling, it would just sit there on the ground and just take damage and die. And then, oh uh, yeah, so each of your cities has a, generates a different resource. Each city generates a different resource. See? Fuel, supplies, rare materials, whatnot. And this game is a, it's a race. Um, I want to say it's a Whoever has the most economy, I want to say, it's gonna most likely win. If they spend that economy, they're gonna most likely win. Because they're gonna generate units and they're gonna be able to pump things out. If you don't make the arms industry, you're gonna fall behind. If you only make a few at the start, you're gonna fall behind, in my opinion. There's probably different views that you can probably just make a few at the start and whatnot. Um, I prefer to, after these are done, to fill up my city with arms industries and you're like oh my gosh you don't have enough uh, enough resources right now you don't have enough resources you can't you can't get that all that you you, you won't, in 30 minutes they won't be there you can actually press this top button i think the app game they have the market also and voila you can just buy resources you just buy enough and then you can just make all your arms industries right there at the start good opening start in the like the first 30 minutes to to have recruiting offices, army camps, and arms industries. So all your cities will now then produce more resources for you and you'll have been, been producing some manpower. Good starting opening. The other thing you can do, because I think you won't have enough if you made all those arms industries. We won't have an, yeah, that's a ton of rare materials. The other thing you can do is make like a few arms industries and then oh I, i'm not in this match i guess they this is not the right helicopter i don't think and it has like little air base level two i think this is the air base level one but um yeah it is okay um but basically in some matches you can research like certain ones on certain helicopters on i think on day one i think sometimes this one in 64 player matches is day one researchable i think i could be wrong on that but a lot, what some people do is that they go for an early game helicopter. They they re start researching the helicopter. They um you to enable to in order to make it you have to um have an arms industry at the at your location. Usually people pop it out at the capital because it has the airbase already built. You need an airbase level one, arms industry level one, and they have an early game helicopter. So if you have that is a good opening to have. Early game air, early game helicopter. Really good op starting opening. And then what you would want to do probably after that is make a, a military hospital. It'll take a day, like some hours. But then it'll start to, when your helicopter lands back in your city, it'll start to heal your helicopter. And if any of your troops get damaged in the fight, you can just send them over to your hospital and slowly heal them up. Hospitals, if, if you did not know about that, you, I don't know, I don't know why, <laughs> you're sad, I don't know. <laughs> if you go with air units, make sure to make a hospital, especially <laughs> so you can heal them and they don't die. 
you know, you can, and then if you any your land units survive, you can they they can they can live. Uh, what a lot of people do if they win an early game helicopter, they have their jets. Oh, okay, it's refueling right now. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for it to refuel. <laughs> then I can show kind of show kind of show this. No, don't attack. Okay. <laughs> well, if you win an early game helicopter route, you can. What a lot of people do is that they send their jet to go and scout this land tile or something. They scout the city to see if there's any enemies in it, and then they send their helicopter, or they send their helicopter on patrol, like, kind of right behind it. And then it's like the, the jet will be able to see what's there in, like, 10 minutes. If there's a, if there's troops there, then you can tell order your helicopter to attack. Really? Okay, so... <laughs> That's a early helicopter, good opening, early building, recruiting offices, and arms industries. Though I believe for four times speed games, uh, what people tend to do, especially um, is ar infantry, army base one, and arms industries, and they sometimes don't do that right away. But yeah, early game helicopter, good strat. The other thing you could try and do, which I love doing because I like the Navy ships in this game. They're just so cool having a Navy, even though I think air, personally, I think air is probably the most powerful. But early game Navy is fun. You can go for a Corvette. You would have to um, make an arms industry level one, and then you have to make a, you have to upgrade your naval base to level two, and then you can start making your Corvette. If you if you get an early game unit, air or sea, and if your opponents have like seaports, if you went like a if you went ships, then you can use it against them. And if they only they didn't go air or sea, then you can rule the air or the sea against them, and you have a huge advantage. And that advantage will probably be the, be victory for you, especially if they don't do anything or if they are inactive, like this player up here. Besides, the, they probably did the tutorial and nothing else. Uh, this person's probably inactive. They didn't even build anything. Yeah, see, human player, they just joined and they, like, don't know what to do. They, I don't know. A lot of people just joined it. They don't know what to do. Maybe they just leave. They're like, oh my gosh, the game's English. I think, can you change the... There's probably a way to change the language in this game. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not there. Or maybe they just have, I don't know. But anyway, so another, another, so you, this is, okay, this is kind of niche. I've only seen a f several people do this. I haven't seen it used that many um, in like the start. But um, airborne infantry, really actually overpowered. If you can, if you get this out early, if you are able to use it effectively, yeah, okay, yeah, see our jet, there's nothing there, is there anything in the city, but, okay, okay, but, okay, that's good travel, okay, airborne infantry, if you can get them out <laughs> early, you can literally destroy people with the airborne infantry, I haven't done it because I kind of think they're kind of just mean, <laughs> But I've seen people use them, and who are and those people are usually active players, like really active. They have a lot of free time. They just they don't have that much work or whatever. They part time job. I don't know. They're really active players. Airborne infantry. You can like destroy people. You can land behind them. You can land in between cities. You can so you don't the enemy you, as the defender. You don't know which city they're going, they're going for. Airborne infantry. This per, if this AI nation was a player. Oh my gosh, notification for my phone. I thought I turned off Wi-Fi. <laughs> I did not turn off Wi-Fi. Turn that off. Yeah, we don't want notifications. You guys hearing random notifications? <laughs> okay, um... Airborne infantry. Can, if this was the actual player, they had the airbase, whatever, they had the correct buildings to pump out airborne infantry, they can, like, I think they can land them over here, they can land them over here, and, like, uh, as the defender, I'd be like, which thing are they going to go for? Where where do I need to send these troops to go and support? Are they going to go here or over here? Maybe I split them up. If I split them up, maybe I don't have enough defenders for the entire city. That's a lot. I just talked really fast. That's a lot. <laughs> Sorry. 
But yeah, what I like to do, even though it's not, in my opinion, it's not the best, is go early game Navy, because Navy's so awesome. Navy, Navy's so awesome. <laughs> Simple for Navy. Okay. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Um, helicopters. Well, early game air, really powerful. Um, the other thing I would like to talk about, if you, oh, sorry, do not do that. Okay. If you are attacked at the start, day one, usually in a four times speed game, this can work in, in a normal speed game, but in a four times speed game, this can also be really uh, effective because the troops are going to come across really fast, and, but you're going to, um, basically, if you're, if the enemy, um, Let's, let's say they attacked me or whatever. They cut through this area really quick. They made the army camps for each of their cities. And so if they made the army camp, you can kind of predict what they're doing. They're probably making infantry. If they're making infantry and they're rushing across the field, they just cut through here really quickly or whatever. Let's say they did that. They cut through here. They're rushing with all their infantry, all their cities. They're sending all their units down here. So what is my best option how am i going to defend i don't actually know exactly where they're coming they could send units th through the sea and hit here or hit here they can go a really long flank and hit here i don't know where they're going to come so what i like to do these got national guard really overrated <laughs> underrated i don't know whatever the term is a lot of people uh, diss the national guards but in four times speed game, I think they become really useful if you're attacked day one. You make a national, you research national guard, and depending on the game mode, you can research this also like really quickly, like in the same day or whatever. You can research this thing, personal armor. So the national guards will be a little bit tougher when they come out. You know that's really good. You do that, and to also the the national guards, you need to have recruiting offices. So you for you. If you're attacked day one, don't build the army camp because you're researching National Guards. You make recruiting offices. And then, instead of... Because you're going to be attacked. You're going to be attacked. You don't know where they're going to come from. You're, you're just... And this strat is really good against... I thought I turned that off. Okay. Uh, this strat is really good against people that don't really stack well. Let's say that person was... Let's say Washington was, ever, was attacking me. They didn't, they just sent, they just sent the units just like, kind of like this. They just sent, they just, they didn't stack their units at all. Wait, <laughs> they just sent them across because they're, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a noob or whatever. <laughs> they just sent them across. I, I don't stack. I just send my units in to die. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's say they did that against me, which is actually really good. I went the national guards. I made National Guards, I made the recruiting offices, the next thing I want for each of my cities are bunkers. And what bunkers do, they're really powerful <laughs> for the defender. Secret building, not shown on the map, so that's also, that's also something your opponent does not know. I believe they don't know you're making this. And they also, when they click on your city, when they click on your city, they don't, they, um, I guess you don't start with a bunker here. Maybe. Uh, in, in some of the other games, you start with a bunker in your capital, but um, you, if, I, if, if in one of those matches, uh, those other matches, when you start with a bunker, I can't see it, but it's actually there. They actually have a bunker, so the capital is actually really tough to take, especially if they have troops. But you want to, for this strat, you make the recruiting off the, the recruiting office, National Guards level 2, and you make bunkers. And then you buy necessary resources from the market to get them out, get all your bunk, all your city's bunkers. And it's a really powerful defense strat. It really, um, against a person who doesn't stack, like, I, I went in, they, I went in to go and attack them. Let's say they, they did that and I, like, sent my troops in. You're gonna you're go and fight that city. You're gonna go and, t you're gonna go and try and t cut through there because I don't, I don't know how combat works. Like, I just sent my units in and... That, the, right now, these people are gonna just die, I'm gonna kill nothing. I'm literally gonna kill nothing, unless I, like, did that. Maybe I kill some things, I get here, maybe into there, but I don't kill, I don't even take that, I just die. Yeah, so bunkers, National Guards level 2, 4 times speed games. That's it, if you're attacked day 1, that's a really awesome strat to do. Really OP. The other thing, oh yeah, 
So, you can... Battle tanks. Main battle tank right here. <laughs> yeah, you know, everyone likes everyone likes tanks. I like tanks, you know. I like the main battle tank. Super awesome. And I believe, I believe it's better than the tank destroyer in the late game. But, yeah, <laughs> the tank destroyer is literally... I'm pretty sure it lightly armored vehicles combining mobility with heavy firepower. <laughs> These units specifically designed to engage and destroy armored vehicles. Oh, what is this armored vehicle? So let's okay, let's say <laughs> okay, let's, you can kind of blame this on like Hollywood and all the other war movies and war TV shows or whatever. They all they always shooting the tank, the battle tank or whatever. Oh, oh the battle tank, so scary or oh, whatever. And so, a lot of times, if you're going to invade, let's say I'm going to invade him, or, or I expect to be invaded by this player. And they have a, and to make the battle tank, you need an army base level 2, and so, what, what I need to kind of, if I'm going to invade them, or if I expect to be invaded, and if I had, like, no scout planes or, like, stealth things to go and scout their land, I don't know what they have. But most likely, a lot of new people that join this game, a lot of times... Early, they made their level two army base, whatever they made that. <laughs> they researched this. They're trying. They're most likely trying to go for this, unless they're like, I don't know why you would make this. <laughs> I don't see that many people make this. Don't don't make this unless unless it's really good. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> I just don't see that many people make this. A lot of people just. If they make something in here, they make this. Most of the time only, <laughs> they make the battle tank. Yeah, so most likely your enemy that you're fighting, especially if they're a noob and low level, and they like uh, they watch all the war movies or whatever, or they, they're just playing this game, they're really new to war games. They just see battle tank and they're like, that, I want that, I want that. So at level two, if you see a level two army camp, <laughs> if you, and if you check their level, check their level, they're a noob, <laughs> oh, scum, rebel scum, okay. <laughs> they most likely are going for the battle tank. And so what is your, you can make, you, so what are you going to do? You can make a battle tank, you can make battle tanks, so you'll probably win because they're, they're a noob. They're not going <laughs> to go lose. Or you can make tank destroyers <laughs> and literally farm them. <laughs> you farm them, and then if you want to even be more cheese and more tanky, you can even make mechanized infantry. And what mechanized infantry do, it, you can put them with the battle tanks, you can put them with the, with uh, any mechanized infantry. I think this is mechanized, I think. Lightly, or maybe not, lightly armored. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> mechanized infantry can make your, me <laughs> mechanized infantry is specially suited for accompanying heavy armor. <laughs> you can just combine that with like some armored vehicles and, and I think tank destroyers do become that. But anyway, you just combine them with your tank destroyers, give them more HP, more tankiness, and you just farm the battle tank noobs, all the people that went the battle tank, that think they're tough. Uh, now I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a script or anything, I just went with this. But yeah, so, you just go the ba you just go the tank destroyer, you, can, you just farm them, <laughs> you just farm them. <laughs> farm all the people that make the battle tank, all the noobs that make the battle tank. The other thing is, hmm. so, okay, <laughs> anti-air, <laughs> go, so, uh, what I like to do, I like to, I like make, make an early game navy, because the navy is awesome, <laughs> navy is awesome, aircraft carrier, that's so awesome, even though I've hardly seen this ever used, like, I've seen people make it, and they use it a little bit, but then the match ends, or whatever. And even the four times speed game, they make it, they like, they use it to transport troops, and like, that's it, they don't, <laughs> and then the game ends. <laughs> um, what I do see a lot is, um, Corvettes, because they just, early game ship, everyone's gonna, a good amount of people who are higher level, go with the, the helicopter, early game ship, or they, they brute force it with a lot of other people can just, they decide to not go early game air. Is my thing still recording? They decide to yes. Okay, it just turned off. <laughs> I was worried. Okay, they, uh, they they if they don't go early game air with like helicopter gunship or early game C, they sometimes brute force it. Or if, if they don't go that, 
if you're not being attacked today one they brute force it by researching this and they research that and go full land army full early game land army which can be really effective can be really effective but um okay where was it going oh yeah so <laughs> basically some of the things that are in here are cool but not a, not used that much aircraft carrier really cool if you make it awesome i i support that i support you going for aircraft carrier um anti-air yeah yeah that's what i was on anti-air anti-air really powerful because a lot of people in this game want to because i think air personally i think air is probably one of the most powerful or the most powerful thing you can you make you can the the bombers the bombers have insane range here's the heavy bombers you upgrade them to like level four or like level four level three they become insane the and then if you if, if you're even more want to be even more giga chat or whatever you can make the stealth bomber <laughs> Bombers insane. Strike fighters uh, are really powerful. Helicopters can be are really decent. The air superiority, uh, superiority fighter really good. More anti-air type thing to rule the skies. Mm. So the thing about uh, how should I put this? I, I basically I play. There's this match I played. Like two of my allies re really are like riding the victory bus they think we're destined to win or whatever there's one more this one coalition i'm i'm with them i'm pakistan they're us and like egypt or whatever they, they they're like thinking we're good we're, we're, we're destined to win we're we're having so many victories i'm thinking i'm just slowly just trying to take over the land around me i i, I had a really i wasn't invaded day one but i was a really defensive i'm really cautious player i guess at times in this game at multiple times in this game i'm really cautious so i made national guard personal armor i think i even got into level four and i also went like some helicopters to help me snipe cities out just to um get, get them out of here oh no 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 don't close the game <laughs> okay yeah so i went early game helicopters and then for whatever reason i'm like I, for some reason, this match, this very match, I decided, you know what, someone's gonna, there's gonna be one player that's gonna go with the, the annoying, the annoying bombers, and the bombers, okay, they're not just annoying, they're really good, but I'm like, someone's gonna go with the bombers, so I have to make the air superiority fighters to rule the skies to protect my cities and put them on patrol over my cities, and I have to make me medical facilities for each of my cities that have the fighters, so they can heal. And then I'm like, you know what, and it's probably someone with stealth, stealth bombers. So I have to make this AWACS, get it to, I think, was it level 3 or 5 or whatever? I actually did spend gold to help me level them up a bit, but um, I, I, needed, I needed a way to detect stealth so I can actually shoot any stealth bombers. And US and Egypt, they have, they have no, they have no anti-air, they have no air superiority you know what they have they have battle tanks okay <laughs> they have the motorized infantry they got them to lo learn level four level four, whatever that level that is okay <laughs> they're high level they have ground units oh you know and they're they're and so there's this player playing russia i tried to convince my coalition that we should allow them to join us and unify the entire map because we're like all the only active players but U.S. is so bloodthirsty. They're so bloodthirsty. So they have to go to war. They have to fight. They don't want to make peace. And so Egypt is like, okay, I'm going to go with the U.S. And I'm like, guys, I can't really support you unless I cut through Kazakhstan and all the other, uh, uh, full, like the two other countries. And unless I like flew over to Egypt, but I don't want to do that. That's going to take forever. <laughs> so, and like, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to cut through Kazakhstan. Then I'll like declare war or whatever. What did my allies do? Since they had no anti-air, <laughs> Russia went bombers and just bombed all of their land units <laughs> because they were so bad. Man, if I think one of them might have subscribed to my channel, hopefully, <laughs> I mean, I, I just called them out right there, just said they're bad. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that I mean, I I get they did realize that later on in the match that they did play poorly, but. <laughs> Going no anti-air is a big mistake. If you go anti-air, 
Air superiority fighters. Really awesome. This is also really good. I mean, it only kind of fights helicopters, I guess. It literally says, especially helicopters. Really good against helicopters. A lot of people, though, make this mobile SAM launcher right here in the support tab. Mobile SAM launcher. Really good. Really decent. Kind of... It can also kind of fight missiles, which looks really good like that. So yeah, mobile, oh, this thing is really good. If you go anti-air, anything anti-air, this thing can kind of fight planes and it, or it fights, does not engage low, it does not fight the helicopters. So you would, if you went, if you did not go this, you go with the mobile anti-air vehicle and you go with the mobile SAM launcher. So you can fight the helicopters, you can fight the planes and this thing can fight missiles. The, the nukes and the missiles. <laughs> oh yeah, so I just want to clarify. Missiles will not win you the game. They will not win you the game. You can be kind of political with them. You can like take out, for the most part, key targets, but they're not going to win you the game. In my opinion, what will win you the game is whoever is the most active and whoever has the most economy. In my personal opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. I don't know. No, I just my personal preference or opinion <laughs> sorry if you want to if you do not want to be nuked <laughs> and fight missiles the best way to kill them is not with the mobile sam launcher and with my game knowledge that i have <laughs> is the theater defense system theater defense system if you this thing is insane <laughs> Which is, um, because, um, like, Mobile Sam Launcher, I think, deals, like, 3 damage, 4 damage to missiles. I don't remember. I don't want to click on that. Um, I, I could click on that just to prove my point. Prove my point. Two, oh, 2 damage to missiles. Level 1. Okay. Yeah. You see, it doesn't really fight missiles. This thing does 12. 12 damage. And if you have 2 of them, that's, that's a ton of damage for that, that single missile. If you fill them, you don't need them for all your cities, um... Like, if I took over that, I probably wouldn't put that one there. I would just put it over my starting cities, because my starting cities, my homeland cities, it's called, are probably going to be the most developed with the most um, high-level arms industries, high-level recruiting offices, high-level, high-level buildings. You'd probably just build, like, I would say two each. It would be, like, really late game, two each for each of your cities to keep it safe and you upgrade it. You can you can upgrade the theater defense to be really awesome. If you're if you upgrade it to one two three four five level five, they can re reveal stealth. Revealing stealth can help you fight stealth bombers because <laughs> Russia made stealth bombers that match, and U.S. and Egypt had no way to fight that because they had no <laughs> stealth revealing abilities. <laughs> Only I did. <laughs> Great, great allies. I have to carry them. <laughs> I was smaller than them. <laughs> I have to carry them. But, um, yeah, so, I think that's a, that covers a lot for a new player who's good to play this game. That covers a lot. Okay, so, oh yeah, so this is the thing. You can make attack submarines. You can make this ballistic missile submarine meant for shooting missiles for the most part. Attack submarines. Oh yeah, so, um, attack submarine and this one. Oh yeah, so if you notice, um, ships, if you click over here, click on the Corvette or whatever, you click on this, if you look over here, this deals damage to the cities. You see this? Damage against buildings, point like five something. Uh, what some new players can get caught up in, they make an attack submarine, they go and attack a city, but it's not dealing any damage because there's no attack rating. So if you make a submarine, don't go and attack the city. Because you're not going to deal any damage, you're not going to do anything. It doesn't even deal damage to the population. It only has an attack range, but no damage. No, you know, it doesn't deal <laughs> Okay, don't attack a city with a submarine. <laughs> that is going to give you a lot of tips. Um, uh, people make artillery. Some people make... Uh, no, not really. Not many people make that many artillery in this game. If they do, they're just wasting their time because... For artillery to be really effective, in my opinion, you have to be really active to babysit them and guard them against the threats your opponents can throw at them. You have to be active to, to guard them. If you do make one, the one that I saw that was really scary is probably the multiple rocket launcher. <laughs> it even had like a cool effect, if I remember right. Someone had it, it was just, like 
barraging missiles. It was super, it was super funny, <laughs> uh, super cool. If you, yeah, if you do go like some artillery type thing, you do that. But why go artillery? Because this the motorized infantry right here is like a really. Let me just make sure this thing's on. <laughs> is a really overpowered thing. The motorized infantry, a lot of people max it out because they're really good. They're, they're really good. They become really good. They have like some anti-air kind of thing. More HP and whatnot. Um, at this level, where does it happen? One of the levels, I think it's this level, in the near max level, is this level 5? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's level six is when they get basic. They become mini arties. They can become. They literally get like a little artillery, like little tiny pack with some range, and they can literally. They become artillery, so you don't need to make this. You don't need to make that, and you most likely don't need to make that unless you want to babysit it for like for the rest of the match, especially if you're against an active opponent. <laughs> so, a lot of people don't make this, like. I mean, you can, but why? <laughs> There's a, your planes can scout for you. Other things can reveal stealth already. Other things can are like see the mobile Sam Watcher is actually already already kind of scans already has a radar. So why would you make the mobile radar when you are already going to go this and this thing's going to provide you air coverage? This thing is not. I guess this thing. No, it's literally the same day you can unlock it, and so why would you... I guess it's cheaper, but this thing provides you air coverage, <laughs> and can scan a bit. But, uh, I don't... maybe this thing can scan more or whatever, I don't know. No one really makes it. I don't make it. <laughs> I've played like a... Uh, on, my, on my main account. Because this is like some new account, I'm just using it for this quick video. On my main... quick video, 40 minutes. <laughs> On my main account, I've played like over a hundred something games or whatever. No, I've never really seen this. I was actually in like one of my last games. I, I made this to see what it does, and I, I guess it's all right. <laughs> I got to level two, I think. I didn't really continue because there's other things I needed to make that were more valuable. So yeah, if you do, if you do a lot of ground forces level up these guys uh my i guess play what i like to do is level up something to level four before i uh and like level up like maybe my one of my ships to level four or level three i, I want to get them to level three or level four they become way better at level a lot of units in this game become way better at level three or level four so a lot of times you want to get them to level four at least later in the game you can you can just push them out to there and then you can you can focus on your buildings if you're untouched for like if i was if i was not california right there if i was if i started as cuba or in the bigger match you can start as new zealand or australia you're kind of isolated from most of the other players and that way you can actually kind of focus on your economy a bit more if you wanted but this is just you still expand either fight the other player near you or go for ai don't just sit there and just make buildings attack <laughs> so yeah those are my tips for all for any new people starting the game do the tutorial tutorial is awesome um hopefully they have it on the mobile don't skip through it <laughs> just just listen and hear it out that is all i have to say with that said please <laughs> no i'm not gonna say that <laughs> I was about to say, please subscribe. No, actually, no. Just enjoy life and enjoy your. <laughs> no, what? Not kidding. Um, have a good night because it's nighttime here. Have a good night, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Or hope you guys view my next video. <laughs> view. I don't care about subscribers. Just give me views on my video, <laughs> so I can beat the YouTube algorithm. <laughs>